what's up y'all so this was a couple of days after giving birth so this day i decided to go ahead and start my day with a shower i got dressed um as you can see my stomach is still kind of big since i just gave birth but I'm still trying to do what I can do for my daughter because, of course, you know, I cannot be absent. I have to be present for her. I did promise her that she was going to go to the park because ever since I had my newborn, she has been feeling down and has been feeling like. But, yeah, ever since I had the new baby, my four-year-old has been feeling like she is not important um, just because the new baby around, but I do want to show her attention. Um, I don't show the new baby more attention than I show her. I show them equal attention because I don't want her to feel like she's left out or anything like that. So I started the day off with a shower, went ahead and put my lotion on, opened some blinds because early in the morning I like to open blinds to save power. I don't turn on lights if it's sunlight outside because I like it dim in the house, not too much light. That's just me. Um, before we went out and started the day, um, I wanted to go ahead and clean the sink out because the sink was a little bit dirty and I did have to clean some bottles. I like to stay on top of the bottles before they get, um, before it, it be too many bottles because too many bottles will have me like, uh, I hate washing bottles. I hate washing bottles, but it's something I have to get done because I am a mother. And of course, you know, her bottles have to be clean. So I'm washing her bottles with this Frank is free um bottle wash but it wasn't that many bottles so after I did that I went in um baby girl room in her closet went ahead and picked out her outfit for today um to go ahead and get her dressed for today I always change her outfit every day because she spits up and throws up here and there so of course I have to change her outfit um I was indecisive to see which outfit should I pick out for her but she has a lot of clothes um, mainly zero to three months. Um, after that, I like to go ahead and um, light a candle. I know I'm not the only one that likes to light a candle. It was smelling so good. I got from Bath and Body Works, but recently I have been getting my candles from Walmart because um, they smell the same and they're inexpensive than Bath and Body Works candles. So after that, I got her clothes changed. I went ahead and fed her a bottle, listened to some music. Of course, you need some music. Then I head over to Burlington because I live 30 minutes away from a Burlington, but I was tired of driving to that Burlington. So they followed the build of Burlington where I am right now. And they just opened. This day was the first day they just opened. And of course, I got some things that I didn't need. Total was like, seventy dollars but i got my daughter some stuff got me a notebook because i like to write i like to plan out my life and be organized then i got my daughter some jeans some 4t jeans um my newborn some clothes some dove body wash and i got her some toys because she loved lol surprise and cry babies then i decided to go ahead and get her some socks and hang up this tree that i got from my car and it smells amazing like it smells so amazing make the car smell good and then i went ahead and picked up some perfume um i love vanilla scent perfume then after i left burlington i headed back home and made some pancakes for my daughter and an apple she loves pancakes um Listen, y'all, I did not have time to make pancakes. So we got the frozen pancake and it tastes better. It tastes the same like the homemade pancakes to me. Um, so I went ahead and cut her up an apple because I like to go ahead and, you know, put some fruit in her diet. Um, and she loves syrup as well. Sometimes she'll eat the pancakes and sometimes she won't. It just depends on how she's feeling um, throughout the day. But... I wanted to go ahead and um, get her some of that, some pancakes. Um, after I got her pancakes, I like to cut them up because she loves her pancakes cut up. She don't like if they're not cut up. So she always be like, Mommy, can you cut up my pancakes? I was like, okay, we can cut up your pancakes. But like I said, I always have to be present for my daughter no matter what. Um, whether I'm sick or whether I'm unhappy, you know, I have to put my feelings for the side to the side for my kids. I have to be there for my kids because if you don't be there for your kids, then who else is going to be there for your kids? I had my first child when I was in 
well, when I graduated high school, I was 18 in school the whole year. I was pregnant in school. Um, well, I was 17, and then I graduated, and I turned 18 in the summer, and I had her in October when I graduated in May of 2019. I am currently 2020. I'm, I am currently 22. I did have her when I was 18. I met her father when I was 18 in high school. Yes, I know that was a young age back then. You know, I was young, dumb, and broke. Didn't know nothing. Just met him, and we had our first child. I do not regret her at all. I do not regret her. I love her so very much. Like, y'all just don't understand how it is to be a mother, especially a young mom, because I am still learning day to day. You know, I'm only 22. I had her when I was 18. All I was able to give her was love. I didn't have a job, but like I said, I still made sure she had what she needed. Um, I did have a job. It's like part-time, but I quit because I wasn't really getting no hours. So here's her plate, and yeah, this is 